Morning ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we are going to be talking about how to link two different or two or more two or more different classes together. That is classes that are inheriting from a Kiwi widget, be it a button, be it a screen, be it whatever. So today we are going to talk about that. This is not about code red, this is about how to link two widgets together. So take for example, this is my sign up page right sign up uh sign up screen and i want to get information and put this back i want to get information from this login screen mind you this is their kv files let's say i want to get this field this md text field here that is the the email text field and i also want to get the uh password text field all I simply have to do is assign an ID here. ID, uh, let me call this email. And ID, let me call this password. Password, right? And now let's say I type in some text. Well, I don't really know, but I will still type in some text. Uh, okay, let me assume I put some text in it. Let's just assume it because I I don't really have a button that is going to click and get the information straight away. Let's assume I type in some text. Uh, say let me call this password, and uh, let me call this text email. Right? Yeah. I just simply have to go to my sign up page and then do something like this um, on any function I want. Let me just do this with dev on enter, right? On enter, I'll say cell dot manager. Yeah, manager is the screen manager that holds self uh, that holds sign up and login. Manager is the screen manager that holds sign up and login. I discussed about this in my last video, so you have to watch it to entirely understand what I mean by that. So, for just for a quick check, this manager refers to this manager here, which is this. Where are you? Which is this manager? Mm -hmm. So back to the game share. Septo manager dot uh uh the guest screen. Is it guest screen? <laughs> Did I give an ID to this? Let me quickly check for that. Oh, I didn't give ID. Yeah, I'm supposed to give ID for a quick reference. ID login. And I'll say ID sign up. Yeah. So I have to come back here and then continue. This is a long way for me if I really want to. This I'm typing it very long, but I'll still show you another way to do this. Self the manager of guest screen. What's the name of our login screen? I don't really remember, but let's check login. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put login here, right? And I want to dot ids dot uh email. Let's just say I want to print it out. I want to print the value of the email text field, email.text, right? And also, this is another second way of getting this login screen. Self.manager.ids.login. Mm -hmm. uh, IDs. The email the text so on a quick run i would get the values of the text field of the of only the email yeah mm -hmm. i love that thin line i don't know so as you can see this is what i literally typed into it i just did it programmatically i didn't come straight to type it in so it's just there right and let me click here to enter can you see that email mm -hmm. it printed out what was on the text field so i assessed 
what was on a different class so this is the best method which you can use then the second method let me let me quickly remove this and put uh it is the pass no the yeah the login the id is the password the text the second method by which you can get information out of there let's say you have a screen that is very very far away from the current screen you are on that is they don't it they don't exist on the same screen manager the same screen manager is not holding it so you want to access that class somewhere wherever it is though i have not created any virtual class for now <laughs> so what we are going to do is just i'm going to do something more tricky i'm going to date back to main.py and get the app um uh, the app object then use it to go in between classes to get to where i want to get at so let's carry on so i'll do something first of all i'll import our md app uh, not the md app i'll import from kv when i use md app or app is still the same thing from kv the app import app you can still do from kv the app i mean from kvmd dot app port md app both of them has this thing that i want to get app dot get an app and md app the get running app so since md app is inheriting from app no need to retreat that again so we just really need to do something more abstract crazy app because app the uh, get running app yeah and i'm going to put this thing a little bit down then i'm now going to do something like this save the app the root root let's date back to our old manager this is the main manager screen so the root is referencing to the screen manager and when i put ids ids is going i'm going to reference to this um screen here with the id manager so let me do this root dot id ids dot manager so for now i am inside this and now i want to reference the screen i added to it i mean the manager i added to it excuse me guys a second uh, a second so back to what i was saying now remember we added a screen manager to this screen watch my previous video to understand what i said there so the screen manager is this guy this guy so we are going to reference to it and how are we going to do that did we add an id why we added the widget mm. no we didn't we didn't well let's move on so the way we are going to do it is the manager that um children yeah every widget has a children widget and reference is zero because since i added only one widget to the screen manager so i'm just going to put zero there which means get me the first screen manager get me the first widget not the first screen manager let me print it here so that we would see what is really really going on it helps a lot if you can print all of these things one by one to see what is actually going on well before this tutorial ends i'm going to print all of them one by one and i'm going to do something like this that ids dot uh what again what are we referencing the login yeah login dirt what else are we referencing the email no that's ids i mean 
the login dot ids dot email dot text so i'm going to quickly run this and i'm going to click on this now watch this you see that this is a longer method of getting or referencing another particular class and getting information out of it as you can see this deadline uh, really showed us that it is a manager yeah it pointed to this lib yeah can you see it here lib lib kv manager no manager py sorry it is uh lib lib py yeah lib lib py manager so is it yeah now let's kind of like take things bit by bit i'm going to kind of like print something stupid here i'm going to do this i want to demarcate a line and i'm going to print all of this thing one by one i'll say print self self is already signed up if you don't know about that one i think you should go and let me know complete it self the app i'm going to do that then i'm not going to say print self dot app dot root so i would like you guys to see all of this and i'm going to do self print self dot app dot root the ids mm -hmm. ids contains a dictionary of uh or that dictionary of uh of ids yeah let me let me move on with my life <laughs> I want to print everything one by one so that questions won't come out from anywhere. Sometimes you have to do go in depth to whatever you're doing to understand clearly what is actually going on. If you are debugging, this is the way you actually debug. Yeah, except you are good with the debugging tools. For me, it is the printing way. <laughs> oh, God. So people said, stop putting print everywhere and use a master debugging tool. I said, print all the way. I love print like crazy. So children, you said that children is the least. Mm -hmm. Then print. Uh, we have already printed IDs before, so you should understand what that is. Yeah. Uh huh. The ID is the email. So I am also going to demarcate a few lines here. Let me let me quickly do something here. I'll call this app section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm going to call this manager section. okay so i'm going to print self the manager that's all so let's run this baby stop yeah let me comment these guys because we don't need them for now let's run this bad boy and let's do a little bit investigation with policemen right now good so i'm going to ship this by the left so we have print right we have print app section which is where it started right the first one is made of code rest so the app actually refers to our main app which is this guy right it's references to this guy 
The second version, the second version of the root references to our screen manager, the root widget in this place. Is a reference to this? Can you see that? The third one references to IDs. IDs, you can see. Can you see ID contain? Um, it contains dictionary. This is an ordered dictionary of widgets. Spinner, uh, I got this as the spinner widget manager. It's got this something like that. Yeah. Then the fourth one. Remember we are here. The fourth one references to the manager widget of the screen, which is this. Yeah, as you can see the name. The no 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 no. Okay, so screen name manager. Oh yeah, it references to this guy. So the fourth one, fifth one. Is this guy? No, not this guy. This guy. The children is a list, like I told you, it contains a list of widgets. So, and so on and so forth. Now, the last part, which is the manager widgets, self the manager. Every screen has a manager. Yeah, except the screen doesn't come with a manager. Then, if you reference this, it shows you empty, it shows you nothing, it tells you none so that, that that that's just it guys that's just it and that is it for the video so i thought about making this video of referencing different screens from anywhere you want and how you want to follow it just give everything almost everything i did and there's not much to worry about again okay thank you guys see you on my next video